Hey everyone, so this is not like my normal content, but we've been a little busy moving out of military housing. And this video is probably gonna be useful to those that are going to have to move into this area, or for those that just really wanna know what military housing looks like. It's not really super impressive. I'll talk a little bit about what happened with our move out at the end, but first here is a half bathroom that has no storage except for a medicine cabinet. We did add a, um, a shelf that kept some of the things that we needed in here, um, but other than that, there's no other space or storage in here now this is a four bedroom two and a half bath it's about 2,000 square feet give or take and this is one of the larger houses that's available in Lincoln's Landing at Scott Air Force Base in Illinois we lived here for about three years because buying a house was not an option because of the housing prices and renting in the area was also just as hard so we were on the wait list for a few months to get this house and when we moved into the area we also had to wait another two weeks for the house to be ready this first area is what we mainly used as a living room and I've seen where a lot of people also do that, but I have seen where some people do use that as an office space. Next is the kitchen. Fortunately, this kitchen does have a gas stove and also there are a lot of weird doors in here. I've seen some houses where um, people just take the doors off completely. Floors are linoleum and it seems like there's a lot of cabinets, but we filled ours up pretty quickly. Outside of the kitchen is a laundry room that also has a utility sink and a second pantry. Oh, here's a, the first pantry room. Um, now this pantry looks kind of small, but it actually fits a lot. So here is the laundry room that also has that second pantry that I was talking to you about. Here's a washer and dryer hookup. And I did not get a um, video of our garage because that's where we were putting some of our other things in that we had to move out that were left in there. But there is a storage room inside the garage, which is pretty useful. These houses don't have a basement, so you're literally using your garage as storage. This area is what we used as our dining area. And this is the largest space in, and online it's suggested to be the living room. However, the windows are super drafty and I've seen where some people put plastic film on them to help keep the heat in. Um, but we use this as a dining area. And I also kept all my plants here because the lighting was really good. And here is a second shared living space. This shared living space has access to the backyard. And we turned this into our office area, but it was suggested online to use this as the dining room, which I thought was a little weird, but yeah. And this is the hallway closet, I mean storm shelter. So because there is no basement, this is the area that housing suggests that you use as a storm shelter in case there's a tornado in the area. So next we're gonna go upstairs. Right up the stairs, this is the actual office space that is across from the master bedroom. And in the master bedroom, there is a small walk-in closet. Uh, this master bath bedroom also has an ensuite bathroom. Now in our bedroom, we were able to fit a king-size bed and two nightstands along with a Peloton. 
it was tight uh, and during our final walkout the housing representatives were surprised that we could actually fit all of those things in here we did have to stick our dressers inside of this uh, closet in order to make it work And this is the bathroom. Um, the heaters and the air conditioning really pushes through this bathroom. Um, and I think that that's how the design is. Again, there's not a whole lot of storage in here. There's no drawers. There's um, a couple of medicine cabinets. So you just have to get creative. Next down the hallway is this large storage room. I've seen where some people use this as an office area, but it would make me feel a little claustrophobic. This is where we stored a lot of our boxes and uh, suitcases and things like that. Across from there is a linen closet. And then right next to the linen closet is the second bedroom. This second bedroom is one of the larger bedrooms that are up here. Um, it was a good size. One of our daughters had a, or twin over full bunk bed um, in here and all of her toys and stuff. So this is a good size room. Right next to this bedroom is the third bedroom, which is not a good size room. We did end up using this as a guest room and um, it did fit a queen size bed. And here is the second full bathroom, pretty standard, I guess, uh, just one sink, same storage with the, the one medicine cabinet and just the under storage. And here is the fourth bedroom. This bedroom also has a lot of space, similar to the second bedroom. The walls are pretty soundproof in this entire house, which was actually pretty nice. So you couldn't really hear your next door neighbor. We are in a connected house. However, our house was connected by a garage and not by a shared living space or any bedrooms. And that was pretty nice. I've seen where a lot of people are connected with um, with a bedroom wall or a living room wall and it does get pretty loud, but we were fortunate enough to only be connected by a garage. During the final walkout, housing will literally pull up the carpet from the corners um, and they expose the padding. They mark any stains on the carpets with dates and determine if they need to replace the carpet. Other than that, cleaning the windows, drawers, and cabinets, that's all they really looked for. We weren't charged for any of the blinds, even though they did have to replace some, but that was due to sun damage. And that's it. Thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful.